Lords and ladies, welcome back to my street five years later with your host, Jake Butter. It is I. Oh, there we go. Not going to forget to do that this time. Uh, welcome everyone to my street five years later. Um, one second. There you go. No one's coming out of the closet today. So, this is, of course, a, this is a very interesting one because this is it's a, an episode that I've been waiting for quite a lot. I have just so many guests. Um, so, first of all, I to pretty late. Um, I'm sorry for the same connection issues because it seems like I've been told that's going to have coming issues. Um, I said issues twice. Because uh, I'm actually really, I'm really to like cue these people in because they're they're clearly desperate to uh, to join. Getting enough ghosties is not actually one of the people this time. You know, going like, let me in, let me in, rah, you know that that thing that she does. No, this time it's just um, first of all we have of course our usual guest Aiden the best. Yes. We have the person who immediately started saying let me in right after I mentioned that comment, which of course is Quatsy. Uh, we also we also have um, we also have somebody who was here quite frequently recently, and I'm glad he's um, he wasn't on the call we were just in before, but he's going to be here now. It is. Next up, we have somebody who actually has been with them five years later, some of the very first streams, like back to the back to the big move, and was actually used to stream the streams themselves, which is a very interesting thing to happen at the same time. I don't know how that would work out, but there you go. You can ask him yourself. He's right here. And he is William. Hello. And for some it's reason, me again. Of me. Wow. Yeah. My first time at Twitch in a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get back down there. <laughs> uh, and uh, um, I, uh, I think that's it. Oh no, surprise guest is Emily. You weirdo! You weirdo! It was for the bit. How could you forget about Emily? Come on, man. yeah. How could you? I don't want all the bit. It's really ironic because now I've got to go as well. So screw you. It's I don't want to be here. Wow. Wow. Oh, no. without, like, oh, I, I said hi. I've got to say bye. Great. Okay. Well, bye then. You forgot about me. I was going to say I love you. You don't deserve it now. I tell you not. Yes, yeah, go, go, go subscribe to, uh, to Emily's channel. Echo with that. Um, Emily, the little knuckle. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's funny. I love Emily. I mean, like, like, Echo is great and all, but, like, I don't think she compares to Why'd you say Echo, Aiden? Why'd you say Echo? Echo, 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 Wait, this should be this should be Echo Angel's intro. Um, Emily, if you ever to speak Echo at all, uh, let her know. This should be her intro. Just tell me going like Echo. That's I'll good. tell her. Okay. I tell her, although she's already in making an intro, so it's kind of like uh, she is. In the meantime, I, yeah. I didn't know. I'm going to focus on the matter of hat. Of course, is um that is actually going to replace me in the top screen. The Zane Chan I ship don't episode. Don't me on screen anymore either. Uh, I don't like <laughs> the Zane Chan ship episode. It's actually I'm not even on the screen anymore. This is offensive. I like. I know. Wow, right. this is racist. I'm like oh, first by being really forgotten racist. about. Now this, I well, I love all of you, but Jacob. So everyone have a wow. Seat wow. Seat wow. wow. He forgot about me. He deserves wow. It. Wow, no, no, no. That's like somebody that don't be on the screen anymore. That uh -oh. sounds like what someone doesn't want to be on the screen anymore. So anyways, we're going to watch this. I like you, my shoot style, like episode 50. Oh, I'm just, okay, exactly. 
Oh, wait, you talk about the man. We got some ASMR over there. <laughs> eating. Okay. We're having a mukbang. Um, <laughs> yeah. I bought my, my original, my original mug from the from then, and um oh wait no not the Ravenclaw one actually that's the original one I should have, I should have picked that one. Yeah, boy. Right which reminds which reminds me this is the first episode that I'm doing after graduating so there you go. To be fair, same here. I literally haven't been on one of these streams in a long time, over a year or two. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, well, I mean. Welcome back, and what, and what a great episode to return to. So, yeah. now that we have oh, oh, seen... Now that we yeah, officially have more them. guests than live viewers, let's, let's crack on. Without further distraction, on with the reaction. Here we go again! Mm -hmm. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> oh, what are you starting off the music? Arriba! Like, <laughs> Haunted house day! <laughs> Huh? What? Today is the day we all go to the haunted house of the theme park. You're really excited. Sorry, I didn't hear that. Let's see. Aaron's. Wait, is that Aaron's sister? Yes. Yes. Yeah, Aaron's she's sister. so hot. Pretty I love sure her so much. Is. She's so iconic. I love her. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. She's so, like, she's so iconic and so memorable that you clearly didn't have to just confirm who she was. That's how memorable she is. I have a much bigger and like. Years, so don't come for me. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I like a robot. Jesus. Okay, the Discord robot virus is coming back. I believe it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I can, I can match that. The robot virus is coming back. Not me, just throwing shade. I am a shade Oh, you're fine too. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, oh, also, yeah, um, pretty fight. Um, I think, I think maybe you need to check on your microphone there. Your robot voice. <laughs> your robot voice <laughs> Bonjour, je suis français. Um, right, let's see. Um, I've gone through big group of people. Uh, yeah, it certainly is. We're gonna go at this snail pace to my video, probably. But there you go. You're one of the OGs in this but series. House. Like spooky things, huh? Well, that and take it away, guy. The haunted house is Starlight's prize. It's haunted house. Wow, wow, a prize haunted house called the whole house. I would have never have guessed. What the other one's called? Less haunted house. Even Maybe they should call it something else. Like... Missing spooks. But on top Owl of that, terror. Starlight's haunted house Life is known for its romance. Whoa, uh, yes, haunted houses are. Come on, you can't. <laughs> Tell me you haven't heard the haunted house oh, romance oh. the trope. It's a tale as old. It's just time. a force for romance. That's all I see it as. I'm kidding. They won't be really scared <laughs> while they're in love with other people. But better yet, I'm sure the haunted house thing is like. I'm sure the haunted house romance thing is a thing. But this, like, my shoe was the first time I ever saw that. What? What's so romantic about the haunted house? Oh, good question. Yes, just an urban legend and going around on social media. But okay. people say that they have had intimate experience with their loved ones in there. Is there a confession or something of the sort? That's that the is kind of impressively way scary for an Afma video. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, no, just to, I'm, I'm just talking about people who lie about that social media. Like, uh, yeah, dude, I took a girl into the haunted house and then we had intimate moments. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. Dude, I have been into haunted houses with my girlfriends. Oh my god. Nothing happened in there, okay? <laughs> like, <laughs> nothing happened in there. How's it no, been? No, no, no. You, you, know, you know you said that? Wait, Ada, you know you said that that bike used to like stick next to you the whole time, but she was like really clingy? Was she like holding your arm the whole time? Yes. The whole time. Uh, that, all the time, yes. My gosh. <laughs> yes. Sounds romance. I've never been in a haunted house ever, <laughs> so I can't say much about that at all. Can't see things. Oh, I see. Wow, Melissa, you sure are a supportive sister. I tried. But this kind of stuff doesn't 
It always that. happened in that house. Just giving you a heads up, darling. I know. Which is why if thing doesn't happen, a little Melissa intervention will help fix that up right oh away. God, no. Oh no! Yes. We're going I to think have Melissa intervention with her. She's gonna tell you that. She's gonna wait for the behind the scenes. Uh, actually, the kind of Melissa intervention that you need is a different kind. A different kind. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> you need an Axel intervention. Anyway. Anyway, yeah. it's pretty like that any haunted houses are not a great place for romances. I mean, more fixated on getting through the place rather than for romance. Yeah, true. Yeah, same. Yeah, you actually, you know, that, that'd be really, that'd be really funny jump scare in a horror movie. Just like two characters that like are inching together towards like for a kiss or something, and then suddenly just this this like skeleton appears and goes like Bleh! like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, the, I'm gonna the animate that. I might as that and wonder. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, let's keep, you know let's something. Keep this, but this is a fun fact. During the musical season one, we were going to end up with a really short episode, um, episode eight, part two. My original plan was to expand that because it was meant to come out on Halloween. So I was planning to into a Halloween um, bit where there's like a ne- like extra bits of scenes and stuff. Um, to do with again with one of Marwick's budding romance and stuff at the time. I think I think Marwick wasn't actually there when it just calls him, but it was, you know, somehow it meant to, like the fears were meant to tie to like a fear of moving ahead or something like that. Uh, um it wasn't necessary at all. It was it was shoot mm-hmm. onto the middle and I didn't even have time to make it. So yeah, it just kind of existed. Yeah, I just didn't I didn't I don't I didn't I don't Well actually <laughs> well actually Jacob, remember we have the episode we eventually want to do where we combine all the missing bits from season one. So I mean Well not there. necessarily all the not necessarily all the missing bits, Aiden. The missing That's side bits well certain missing bits that are very important. We'll we'll eventually get Yeah, but that one is that one oh, is. Well, I, feel like other those are more co- I feel like those parts are more come if we remade the rest, some of the rest of the episodes from season one. What hmm? does hunger taste like? Nothing. It's like. Did you just say what hunger tastes like. So yeah, it tastes like nothing. Have you been Have you been eating Harvey's brownies? Yo, dude. Oh, yeah. What does hunger taste like? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, there are pink berries everywhere. Heading to- I've actually known. Oh, um, also, replace says, our customer rates you'll depend on Google if you want to the promise to in haunted houses. Fair enough. Where? I think I've actually been in a haunted house since I was I wish a kid. I was in a so, yeah, haunted- no romance there. Yeah, just, <laughs> okay, let's move on. To a haunted house around 6 p.m. right sun starts setting so we can get that mood lighting in. So no one be late or I'm leaving your butt here. <laughs> mood lighting. Most haunted have, have lighting controls. Yeah. I have to tell Zane about this. This is going to be my oh, dog. That no. bitch gets Love super this. close to him. Let's do not Oh, no. Well, Kim will take I care of him, sure. Oh, yeah, because Kim's done such a good job. Oh. So hey, Nate. We should totes go to the haunted house. What? No way. I thought they were always like, I thought it was all I could give them that they were going to someone's house together, but sure. Hey. Yeah. I love you enough already. I ain't going into no spook house. You know what? I respect <laughs> that. Why not? <laughs> it doesn't prove anything. Aww. But it'll be fun. No. <laughs> no. That's the part. I've been feeling too small. What's the clock? Ripping off the wall. Is this year five? I'm assuming this is season three or five. five. Love that. Everyone, everyone oh, singing on a different key at a different beat. Amazing, guys. Just... Okay. Well, okay. Yeah, so, okay. Granted. Here. Okay. Granted. This. Discord or restream that they'll have like delays, so no one's gonna be in it if they try and sing together. Yeah, yeah, that, that that's why duets are so difficult. I recently did a, a, a Discord duet with um with Emily, um and uh, yeah, it was like the bits we both sing together. It was a really terrible time. <laughs> but there you go. Like it'd be easier to probably like record them in Audacity and sing them together and editing. <laughs> to be fair, it was meant to be kind of like hijacked it. Yeah. Dang. Why are there two, why are there two now? 
Quanti's <laughs> multiplying. She's oh, no. breaking. No. No. <laughs> no. Before you get the quasi virus. <laughs> <laughs> and multiply. Fuck like you, you Lingo. Oh no. One time in the server, we all copied me. Like, you had my username, you had my profile picture, everything. Mm. So, why, why, I'm why, the earth, virus why on earth would we, 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 we copy you ever? We wouldn't do that. Have you seen Zing? Um. No, I, I haven't. Oh, your use. I'll find him myself. Wow. But I just, it just, Dang, you, talk to, you talk to we Irene never, like never that. Really see Afmo and Ghost interact. Afmo and Ghost rarely ever speak to each other, actually. I don't what know, the frick? What the frick was that interaction? That was just the quickest interaction I've ever seen. It does. It, I mean, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It does feel weird to see, you know, the special character, you know. It's weird to see the special, special character, you know, being on the, um, <laughs> yes, exactly, yeah, again, it feels weird to see that character, like, yeah, no, Lily like, doesn't have a boyfriend who's Lily in Ultima Warwolf, so, what can I say about that? Uh -huh. Well, I think that he would be more special in that case, but there you go. Yeah. Um, okay! Yeah. <laughs> What? She doing what? It's exactly like I said. They were discriminated against. Hold up! Here in Starlight? I think you heard wrong. <sighs> I say, in England? Good lord, Poirot. No, you didn't hear me wrong. Aaron and the pack going to a restaurant in the park. When Aaron asked to be seated, they were denied because of that they were werewolves. They what? You know, normally I would complain about the recap, but it does make sense for, you know... Yeah, and also, how, how did... Yeah, like. how did they not... Wait, so hold on. Is that about the level of this point that Aaron's a werewolf or not? Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, no, see, yeah, yeah, that, was, that was from last episode. episode, and it just, like, sprung out of nowhere, because it's, like, the episode is called Now Kiss. You're not expecting that to be, like, the middle portion of the episode. So I was just like, <laughs> oh, is, we're doing... Romance and discrimination. What do they have in common? I Nothing. What the fuck in the series? I was not prepared for this. <laughs> disgusting. You have to tell me twice. I'm going to get in contact with the park and make sure this issue is addressed. I don't recommend contacting the park over, Derek. <laughs> You're literally a werewolf. If they do that to werewolves, then that won't stop them from doing it to others. I understand, or and I'm completely supportive of that idea. Is bad. Was that Aaron's first time dealing with something? Of that nature? Hmm. I mean, shouldn't there be like laws I'm against so that? Sure. I mean, there are like laws in real life uh, to about about to stop discrimination. So realistically, yeah, in this fantasy world, happens. there should be laws happens. against that kind of discrimination as well. Yeah, yeah but, but it still I don't happens know. Happens anyway, and people get away with it. I mean, well, they they don't really have to go through giant court lawsuits and sometimes get away with it. Depending on no, the case. No, most of the time, if they're white. Also, I have yeah, to be fair. But if there's, if there's, if there's a court system, that's a problem. If there's a court system to pursue this kind of thing, Derek is always gonna, and Rachel will take it all the way, definitely. Um, yeah. So yeah. maybe I, I don't know. remember if they actually ever mentioned that being the thing or not. I just find it ridiculous that Afro has not been caught yet spying on the conversation or snooping in on them. I guess she's getting caught in the moment. I'll not remind her to do something. No. Um, I've got to do something very essential for this stream. Um, what was that? Hang on. Wait, oh, that's what see in the, in the thing. No, let me just... Uh, it's, uh, it's part of a uh, promise that I made for every single stream, and I can do it sometime, so... What? Okay. I'm done. Okay. Out for how he looked, especially with all the cuts and bruises he could have on fights. Wait, what? Hold on. He would. That was not for how he looked. It's not what happened in high school. There was no incident where people were yeah. like, hey, there's a bunch of cuts and bruises. I'm going to fight you now. <laughs> like, we, we didn't even see any of those at Phoenix Shop High because at that point they didn't figure out HC skins and No, that, no he, had, he had cuts and stuff during the Phoenix Shop High. Yeah, they yeah, knew how he, to do yeah, some like, that, was, that was part uh. of where, um, yeah, that, that was where, like, the plaster on his face came from. 
Bring it up if it's him. I suppose. Oh yeah, sure. Because people who've been as good as they bring it up to people if it bothers them. Yeah. Like <laughs> yes, obviously. We'll leave it at yeah, that for it's, now. It's like, I'm sure him hearing about a report being filed would help. Indeed. Aaron that would help. Yeah. Didn't you? Even talk to me about that. He didn't talk to anyone about it. Really. Yeah, he didn't talk Besides, to anyone yeah. about that. Guys, <laughs> I think it's mom. It's exactly, yeah. But that's not a Maybe she's just, special he just moment. Doesn't trust Apple enough. <laughs> no, it's, he didn't know how it. It was like come to last episode. I don't understand. Why restaurant not let us in? They said like they want to lose money. Uh, other jerks. <laughs> Why? You think it heard <gasps> out loud? I love how we're like in like a, we're like a dramatic mono version of this. I can see somebody like doing an audition with this particular speech <laughs> starting. <Yeah. laughs> but if no someone did that for Mutant Girl season three, that'd be epic. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like um, it's, it's, uh, it's like my my name is my name is Per. I am five foot four, and I'm reading for Aphmau. Hey, Aph. Is this a flashback? How do I look? Yes, a lot. Yeah. That must be why he hit his tail the other day. <laughs> but I do want to keep having fun, so oh, this I bit. got something. Oh no! And then there's me. Yeah. I haven't been doing much to even begin to understand him. Yeah, finally you realize that. But maybe yeah, you're being a bit of a pain in the rear end. You're a fool. I need to learn. Yeah, not like you learned about this in high school. Why well, there's Zane and KC. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't really like that about, Ooh, about we got these one. kind of seasons. They like they reset her to be like, oh, I don't know about werewolves. Even though in Phoenix Drop High, she knew also, a lot about werewolves. Also, hold on a minute. Okay, so. Okay, I'm just looking at this code frame right now. I'm pretty sure in the few last scene, a few last scene before, uh, I think it was Kim, right? Who's trying to look for Zane? I think it was, right? Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. oh, it was both. It was inside Kim's body, just trying to get with Zane. Oh. Why was a yeah. ghost inside her body? I haven't been here for a while, so I don't understand what's the plot. Oh. Ghosts don't tend to have bodies. That's, that's their thing. Why was there a ghost possessing hey, Kim? Because of Emerald Secret. Uh oh. Yeah. Can you guys still hear me? I'm not seeing any. Yeah. Yeah. Just check. Okay. Yeah, just check. I'm. I'm like, I sometimes like check to see if there's like any audio capture coming through. But yeah. All right. Fair enough. Uh, one other thing about the whole uh, resetting out about whale stuff. I told. I told Mona that kind of happens sometimes in the series, and then she. She said to me, "Oh, but my Afma doesn't care," and then I said, "Well, no, that's clearly not the case." She thinks that I'm adding Afma too much to the benefit of the doubt. But that's really, that, given what we've seen here, that's really not the case. It's just that she is extremely dumb. <laughs> I guess, I, I guess, I guess, uh, you know, I guess we have to admire the fact that, um, the fact that we turn stupidity into a character arc in this series. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Which is happening. That's one way to look at it, I guess. Fun. Go for it. What rhymes with orange? What? No, it doesn't! Oh my word. Let me see. Uh, so let's see. There would be knowledge, <sighs> courage, depending on how you say it, orange, still hinge, depending on how you can pronounce that as well. Um, yeah, there's quite a few things actually. Yeah. Porridge? Porridge. Yeah, orange. Yeah, good one. <laughs> Sadie does not know apparently that. <laughs> yeah, there, there's, there are actually quite a few. There's actually there's even a town called Gorringe somewhere actually. There's a town oh. called Gorringe? I'm gonna look that up. Yes. Yeah, I learned about it on, on QI one time. How do you spell it? Yes. I don't know. Uh, many things. They didn't see me use that book before. Huh? Okay. Oh, because. <laughs> <laughs> Dora, ah! you almost fell for it. <laughs> almost? No, he actually fell for it. <laughs> I'm he a little smarter than that, Kawaii Chan. <laughs> Only. Are you having Where's... fun? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually having a great time hanging out with you. <laughs> 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 
very. I mean, granted, you know, oh, I I would have I would have a great time with somebody just spouting off rhymes about stuff. I can relate to. Yeah, but well, then here comes Kim to ruin things, and the ghost. Kim's you are insane. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh no no no! Kim, unhand me, you stupid girl woman thing! <laughs> They can't reset everything. Hand me your god device, like a path. Zane, we're going to be going to a haunted house tonight. Isn't that exciting? Oh, um, yeah, it is. God, huh? This is not going to go well this? for Kawaii Chan at all. Oh, He's right. Um, this is Zane Kawaii is Chan. I've mm -hmm. met Kim before. A pleasure. To wow. So you told, so you told Kawhi Oh wait, I don't, okay, oh, wait, no. continuity error, continuity error, the fact Ain't that, it. no, no, Ghost met Kim before, they were in the same room during Afno's year. Um, also, okay. hold on, did, 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 oh, did has Kawhi Chan realize, realized, 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 has yeah, realized, no, yeah, no, Ghost helped Kawhi, Kawhi Chan tie a bow, because Zane was like, oh, I could help, and then it's like, oh, Kim, and then Ghost butted in, and it's like, oh, yeah, okay. I hey, can but... tie a bow, yeah. Okay, but... so people do know about ghosts, it's just that they don't understand. Okay, but did you say it was a different person speaking? It was my question. No, she didn't no. realize, but she does know... Oh, but might not Ghost does... Yeah, but Ghost knows... knows oh, who okay, Kawaii Chen is. Ghost is connected. Okay, yeah. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a continuity error, and okay, fine. for pretending like she That's never fine. met Kawaii I, I get it now. Aiden, you can't do any sin, man. Okay, fair enough. In that case, in, in that case, we have this song. <clears throat> um, as you don't do the plot holes of the wreck. I think no, uh, either uh, one oh, works in this oh, case. Oh, you remember oh, that? Oh, oh no. no. That's no. All right, William, you've got to join for the wreck call. All right. Out of sync, reach to the time. Three, okay. two, one. Red calls, red calls, for me and you. You. Red calls. Okay. Red Red I think your story too. Yeah. I literally, I literally had to remember them by. I just had, had to get my brain out for remembering those. I still need to. Re I need to make those into a song at some point. I may like use some note blocks for that. Yeah, we need to remix that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. If Can anyone feel... knows how to make music, Do that'd be great. Be my... Actually, you know what? I the, on the um, on the audio interface I have there are there are four buttons on the soundboard. That are meant for recording new sound effects. I could just press a button one time and play that song in the future. Oh. My haunted house buddy. Yeah, that'd be easier. Haunted house buddy. Well, I'm going to need someone to hold my hand throughout the haunted house. I. Um, no, you're not. You're a ghost. You're about right at home. I really appreciate it. Ghost. Oh, oh um, yeah. Um, Bad idea. I need to th think about. I just have him as your buddy. You, you know, hold hands. All Jeremy and stuff. I can loves. Ah, uh, come on, Zay. Why is not happy now? I can tell. She's like thinking, "What is she doing?" Wait, is that the first cat noise that Kawaii Chan's had since the big move? I think so. I how the Let first VA for Kawaii Chan was literally a cat with a stock cat. It's meow. Then we'll come back to yeah. the random Fun stuff. Fact, the, first, the, the, first, um, the first official VA for Bowser was a leopard. Dang. Oh, it's purple. It's so cute. At the end of the day. Stop doing this, Athmal. Every Stop time. Stop doing it. This is well, like, you easier. literally compare them to, like, being kicked out because you're, like, race or whatever, right? And then you're like, oh, yeah. It's, it's, let's have Athmal like, wear yeah, wolf I'm... ears. Because that isn't giving problematic implications of, like, blackface. Okay. I'm confused. <laughs> okay, she compares <laughs> werewolves mm -hmm. to, like, a race, you know. You know, to like black people or some, something along those lines, and then she pulls this kind of stuff where she has them her wear actual wolf ears after doing that, which comes off bad because you just compared them to a race of people. And in real life, you don't just dress up as another race, like, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna go well for you. You're just, you're just gonna be, you know, I mean, if you're gonna do an allegory, you gotta be careful. <laughs> Yeah, th this is making me like this is making my job of trying to make it so that make it known that Athmal does care about this stuff very difficult. <laughs> I will say that much. I'm not going to. Yeah, Athmal's emotional intelligence right here. Not... Hey, Anilo. 
Oh, there you are. I think you haven't said a word in like ages. <laughs> it's only been like probably 15 I'm minutes. just riveted by the, by the ships. Oh, oh I see. Well, ships, the ships, ships are riveting. <laughs> I'm just right now looking oh, at this. Also, uh, funny thing if ghosts are supposedly scared of haunted houses, well, she should be scared of herself then. Um, yes, very <laughs> much so. Maybe ghosts hate themselves. We don't know that. Oh, no. You should leave no, it on the ground. table collapse again. Quatsi, this is... You, you keep using the William clip, but now you're doing it yourself. Huh? <laughs> Good God. Oh, yeah, so A part of me feels like a complete failure. Yeah, you I are. I've had my man. own experience as being with jerks. <laughs> jerks who judge you for wrong <laughs> reasons. Oh, my God. So why... Why can't I... Why can't I use that to help him? I mean... Because you're uh, oblivious. <laughs> you literally can. What do you mean? Do He's too, helped you in the past. It's just like you're too it. dumb to think about it. <laughs> yeah, and also you literally just found out about this. Not just like, oh, I can't help him at all with this one problem like, that I yeah, didn't know this until five out seconds out ago. Um, oh, I'm such like a failure. Just... Yeah. You're hearing in on the like conversation. I'm really excited about you him being different. Hmm. Or is it that excitement? That's causing me to be ignorant. Oh, what she likes to be no, ignorant? Have you inherited? I don't know, Afmal. Is that the bug? The whole like putting on ear. Oh, sorry. Wait, could that be like an actual thing? Just liking a werewolf? <laughs> I just, oh I no! Oh, yeah, we have had a talk. Oh okay. God! Is werewolf fetishism? Yeah, no, no we have had conversations oh, no. about that. About like about like Sylvana's creepy yeah, obsession okay. with werewolves because you know. Oh again, yeah, that's another reason why not to compare to Sylvana Bosworth. Which actually that also uh, happens in real yeah, life. Yeah, Sylvana uh, Bosworth. Also also happens in real life. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. You know, it does happen. Okay, you know, you know the worst. You know the worst part about this is the fact that in, in Aphmau's year episode four, she tries on the ears for the first time, and she feels like it's a bad idea and stuff. She's about to take them off, and then she gets called Melissa. You know, and then they go over the fact that that was not able to understand it, and blah blah blah. All all done and dusted. We can just forget about the trauma we experienced. But no, she actively brought the ears over with her to the islands. Why? On a plane she flew yeah. with that Melissa. Was... Because she is extremely <laughs> stupid. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. She has no yes. brain cells. You have a point there. Stupidity is a character arc now. You have a point there. Uh, they were all about werewolves. And yet, I feel like it helped me. Is it because. Maybe no, because you're sleeping not a werewolf, now. maybe? Never, never learned anything. He's not the same. That's why. Uh, I'm gonna bring this down to you, um, Al. Um, <laughs> he is Aaron, and he is Aaron, and they are the same person. <laughs> and I should have seen that sooner. I need to let him know about what here he comes in well huh? okay to be fair, i'm the only one who thinks she sounds like an actual psychopath right here pause here, pause here. we kind of cut up the what conversation but basically the conversation was basically leading to the point where afmau while the dialogue was clunky is basically afmau realizing that i don't know things are different and stuff like that and that oh, she has yeah, been yeah. acting right. You know, like, uh, like that was the narrative through line, but we kind of kept cutting into conversation, which didn't help. Well, we were even though the there are... Why does it work in the way that it was intended? I don't think... No, none of us have lost the message that she was actually trying, trying to realize her mistake. This is going to end very terribly. That, that, that much never came into question. Again, stupidity being the character arc, that's what you just described there, and was the arc. Yeah. Or at least as part of it, because she's not she's not quite there. In fact, she actually goes off the deep end later, but we'll get to that eventually. I, uh, uh, well, I wanted to talk to you. Oh, um, sure. Thanks. Uh, yeah, uh, I think we'll go to the resort, at least just for a little bit. Why? I, 
You need a break right now. I love the fact that we just, like, there was a, a setup for a romantic experience with Athmau and Aaron, and for the first time, the series actively avoids it. I kind of have to respect that, in a way. Just to collect Good my Lord. thoughts. To be honest, having everyone around has just been so much lately. I need a breather from it. Hmm. I... understand. I won't be gone for long. And speak to Lee, and won't be gone for long. Uh, Quasi says, I'll temporarily have to go for dinner, so I randomly leave for the dinner. Okay, fine. Just a, a day or two. I'm, I'm gonna let my parents know. Right! I know what I'm thinking. I won't bring him Act down. Now. This is all this your fault, is about okay? Him. Well, actually, it's not all her fault. She's contributing to the problem. <laughs> she's contributing to yeah. the problem in a major way, but it's not entirely her fault. Yeah, she, she's yeah, really yeah. Oh, I'm just being frustrated. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Yeah. I, you know, I, I, Anyways, I must say, yeah, I, I'm, I must say, having having dated now two people online, and so, and both of them sometimes having to, having to, um, Wanting to lead to deal with their own problems and stuff. I'm kind of like Afmo in the situation where I'm just like, no, tell me what's going on. I want to help or something like that. Good lord. So yeah, I've um, I've been here before. I've never been the, I've never been been an accessory to that to this degree. But there you go. Uh, uh. Now back to the other plot. Ooh, it's almost time. This is going to be super fun. Okay, Kim, what's the deal? Why are you suddenly all over Zane? Ghost! <laughs> Wouldn't you yeah. like to know? Yes, she would. It's me. <gasps> Kim, you don't have to tell her. I need to. Yes, yes! She probably with telling her. That's not the big secret. <laughs> I'm supposed to keep you real, the big secret. Thank you, William. Thank you. Zane? <laughs> Kawhi chan. I mean, that love Zane, and it's driving me crazy! Believe her, Kawhi. And that might there be a sentence to start a god, just the ghost inside of me. Yeah. Like, you know, affects your personality. <laughs> yeah. Actually, to Wait, be fair, actually, we could actually do that in a butter I, I run, because young. canonically ghosts are a thing. To be fair! To be Wait, absolutely fair! So William, that's the body of isn't it? Yeah, that's just the mighty yandere. That was about to be my point. I was about to be my yeah. point. That's the mighty yandere in and out. And I need to get that series fully written still. Fair enough. Remember I told Maybe you stream, other things happened when we were at the lodge years ago? This is yes. one of those hey. things. So, don't think I like saying because he's a stupid butt face. You wouldn't ah! have me with Wow, we almost share Kim. Why? But okay, I know everyone else has a grudge against Zane, but what if Kim has a crap of grudge? Like, why is that a thing suddenly? That's oh, right. That's Kim's idol voice. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Sweetheart. If anything, oh God, most this of ghost is back. Will be quite. So God will be praising him to the high heavens, or like at least like, like mocking him in his childhood. Also, there's a really voice difference and between me those and, and, uh, and Kim. Yeah. Like, I think anyone could notice, but apparently they haven't. Well, I mean, actually, this Except is kind of similar to, like, Alters, I guess, in a way. Or, like, at least somewhat similar. Right? Maybe. Yeah, that I is true. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get tiny down to yeah, with certain alters, it's difficult to tell who's speaking at different times. Yeah, ones, but sometimes, but like with some, with like some old people of alters I met, like like in like some alters, like I, I could tell when different when different alters are speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And that's the part that I'm mostly Yeah, the thing is that with um with the uh, with the Caroline system, all the alters have learned through impressions of of her to um of the host that like to not actually arouse suspicion. So sometimes when they'll be talking and there'll be somebody else in the room, like they'll just do an impression of Caroline and be like, "Okay, but what? Why?" <laughs> Honestly, I want I want to hear Cammy's British accent finally because it's it's been a, it's been a thing that's been teased for ages but has never occurred. House. Mm, now I can see it. Which reminds me, aren't you the girl who likes to ship things? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, now you know she okay. is. Uh, yeah, now exactly. you know. Like, what? <laughs> That's the one thing that she knows. 
Actually, in fact, that's one thing everyone knows about Kawaii Chan, but still. Great Why track. don't you just ship me and Zane then? Oh. You, no! Yeah. I, I know that she's going to say this in the moment, but you can't force someone to ship. Because they he's trust her me. senpai! Back off! Yeah, but <laughs> trust me, I've tried. I've tried to convince people of the of certain ships maybe a few times, not too, too many times. Mostly trying to convince me. I'm normally the person who's been trying to convince of like you know, like Baku Deku or Drowry and stuff. And, oh you know, god, no not those ships. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Yeah, exactly. Go more like under the Kawaii channel at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to force a ship. Yeah, it doesn't. You, you can't. You can't force a ship in the minds of the individual. Yeah, you got you got to earn. Anyways, you got to earn. Anyways, what? I mean, you seem to have a thing for shipping things. Give Zane to me. Yes, build another shrine. Why don't you? That uh, way, no, we don't want another one. Relationship, stay don't alone. Like shipping isn't about just putting someone with no chemistry together. Thank you, Kawaii Chan. Someone you. finally said it. Right, finally. It's not just putting posters but that in your room. You are so savage. Shipping someone else from a fictional story. You know what? I am. I am not. I'm not going to buy Levi drink yet because I'm saving it for another part. Okay. Of the oh yeah, I know. You're I'm gonna go talk with everyone. Yeah, but figuratively, that if, they, if it weren't for that other thing in the episode, this would be getting Levi drink. It gets annoying. <laughs> No, but honestly, I'm impressed with how savage Kawaii Chan was here. Like, damn. <laughs> Girl, yeah, yeah, you have a crush on Kawaii Chan now because I know you like. I like. I have a thing with angry girls. <laughs> oh no! I, oh my <laughs> fucking god! Yeah, <laughs> hey, hey, you've hey, got hey, me. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but you're not getting out of it. I put you in the face, lady. Hey, hey, Adi, remember when Kawaii Chan both and Lawrence into a pulp? What? That no, was yeah, that actually happened. Bird. That actually happened. In the, what in the big season move. was that? <laughs> the, uh, the, big the big move. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh yeah, right. She catches them. She catches them snooping on 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 her phone and laptop. Oh and yeah, I, them, I remember that. Pages. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I keep, I keep reminding people of the fact you know what happens in season six, where she's like you know it's like oh no I'm so weak and dying and uh, it's like your strongest character. No, you're not. Much. Okay, to be it, fair, it, yes, to be fair, comparing people. situations, situations that was played up more for comedy than it was for seriousness. Versus, say, versus in season yes, six, it's played up for seriousness. Still happened. That's the thing. That's what I'm it saying. Happened. Happened. Well, it's like Travis falling. This is Gary Lawrence. Yeah, I mean, what am I ever that... think wrong with you about the big move now? Actually, actually, Aiden, you know what? There was one part. Of the truth, but I was actually one hundred percent correct about. I said that I said that you know. I said, oh, well, I guess he could survive a house explosion. No, we, we all know whose dad is in Minecraft. I something, you know, hinting towards the Demon Warlock connection to him, making him immune to force. Behold, season six, Demon Warlock gets stabbed in, in Travis's body, and the sword is completely fine. Yeah, but he also was powered by go. a million different souls. Well, I can say no. He That's no. He crazy. was literally powered. He was literally powered by a million different like souls from the island, meaning it's like when it's like Af that's like saying, "Oh my gosh, Afmel blasted a laser." Therefore, when she was fighting with the, all the relics inside her, therefore Afmel Afmel could shoot out laser beams normally. It's like no, no, it just it was the circumstances time? that led to it. Hold on, Aiden. Yeah, I wouldn't go that. Hold I wouldn't on. go that far, Aiden. Thing yeah, no, but okay, the so point what? being, Me. being he was powered by those souls. That wait a minute, I don't think you changed the. Uh, wait, did you? Can you change the uh, relationship? Let's say, I don't know. I'm confused. I'm stupid. I was looking at someone. I'm just being stupid. Oops. I was Stay alone. Shipping isn't about just putting chemistry together. I like it. All right. Okay, so I think that is the first. I'm fun. That's the first time I ever heard some crack shipping. And it's also used ever to affect Y Chan. Like, again, how it's going to a cutaway gag. <laughs> Great. Yeah, yeah. You just cut to this. I mean, what, what like, this isn't family. Like, All right, everyone, it's time to get going. So just let me go get off bound Aaron and work to go. Oh, no. Haha, ha, Melissa. Oh, uh, that's a bad idea. She li he literally already went out of her. Come on, Kim, let's go. <sighs> Hurry, before things get even more awkward. 
speaking of shipping co-chemistry with each other, how many Cinder fans are there out there in the fandom? No! Oh yeah, no, they exist. <laughs> Whew. Glad that was avoided. <laughs> what? Don't ship anyone, we? Um, no, that's not it, I... Zane, ah. it's good to not, good to not be, not have anyone that quite has ship you with anyone. That's a good thing. Yeah, it's okay. Come on, you two, let's get going. Last thing I want to do is make Melissa wait longer. She's kind of ah. crazy. She's the one who left. Okay, whatever. I, don't has know. A yeah. I think she's kind of cool. That's because she's just as crazy as. Ugh, never mind. Yeah. I mean, let's. No, you you can say it. You can say it, Zane. Just as crazy as her. It's fine. You know, it's not. It's not wrong. Let's wait you on the dog. Say it. I don't think Kawaii would be offended. I think she just giggle at that. Because they, they, these two do bond over their shit later. What? what? Yeah, I just want to go back to the resort for a few days. Just to kind of get away from everything. To be honest, I still need more to get used to this. Well, Aaron. Nah, I'm not going to argue against you. You're going to get caught by your sister. Wow. Too comfortable. Derek, <laughs> it. You mean just say Derek and not going to argue? against Aaron going somewhere off on own for once in your life? Wow, progress. Then we support you. That's right, dear. We understand that you out of everyone here is going to have a difficult time. And we're prepared to support you. Are you sure? Yeah, we'll send our guards after you again. Sure you don't want us to come with you? No, I... I don't want to ruin anyone's time here. They all have been looking forward to this. S so you won't be going to the haunted house? What? Uh, <laughs> not tonight. <laughs> You're coming. Sorry, to Melissa. The right moment. I know you've planned this all out. N no. As your sister, I support you. You know something? It was actually um, it was actually my nan's birthday yesterday, and um, but, but I was and like one of the plans that I had for the summer holiday, you know, because like every plan gradually gets ruined. By the way, I was thinking of you know I was going through the musical and um stressing myself out and waiting for the moment to relax during the summer and, and, and whatever while my big plans was oh i'm gonna be up over celebrate you know gonna be with my nan on her birthday turns out i went there on sunday and um that was the celebration and i wasn't told we weren't gonna stay there the whole time at least until the birthday so you know there we were a day before it happened and like on the actual day itself it's like oh no we can't travel it's like we wouldn't have had to travel if you we were already there yeah. So, yeah, was uh, only I. I didn't have this Melissa face, but I definitely was like, "Huh." Well then, of course. Meanwhile, like, got to the plot. That's full power mode. And I, I am butt hurt about this, but I'll get over it. You are important. Come on, no. Come on Gareth. Thanks. Come on, we can walk away with this. Of this, like men. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, that's the same reaction is gonna happen. What? Why am I so much move in season one nostalgia today specifically? I don't know why. Thanks, guys. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm here. Standing. You can catch Maybe. the mini boat back. It will take you some time, but you can linger so. Thanks. You guys have fun. I'll be back soon. <laughs> Bye. Here we go, but be back soon. Oh, Melissa, you can go pick up a romance or something, or go find someone to fall in love with yourself. No, that's too hard. I'd rather just cheer other people on. You know something? But I actually think I kind of call back to this, but that particular like, like rhetoric there, like when when I was thinking of um Empress's character in season one of Beauty and Girl, because there is a line where mm -hmm. Silas does say that she would find a partner for herself. Rather yeah, than just, you know, <laughs> yeah, I remember just that. Teasing, yeah, rather than teasing every member of her surrogate family for the rest of time. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, they I tease her instead. Like <laughs> yeah. Plus, I'm old and lazy, so I don't even care. Wow. <laughs> oh, princess, you can ship me and your mother together. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's already <laughs> that's already a ship that kind of happened. It's already <laughs> sailed. There's no point. There's no point. And yes, exactly. that, that's what I said before, um, Pretty Place, that this is, this is a rare Derek moment that allows Aaron to leave on his own after all this time. Yeah, you didn't even send a guard after him or anything. You're my parents! Yuck! Oof. 
She's how old and still acts like that? She takes after her mother. No, that's a good question. How old is Melissa? We don't actually know the answer to that question. Hey. I know she's in her 30s. That, that I know. other werewolf I've met and even though <laughs> phrasing it like that is even worse now. That's yeah that's just gonna look. make you that's just gonna make him hate you more I mean he doesn't hate her but the fact that she has like you know again she has like a default for, for like all werewolf again if you go with the analogy it's like <laughs> oh great I great. had no ill intent there was no better I didn't treat you like you. To be fair, you, she was worse in the minigames. I know it's on canon, but still, she was worse mm -hmm. in the minigames. And for that, I'm How long do we have left sorry. In I haven't admitted this, but I have been having a hard time getting used to the new you. I'm afraid I don't know what you like, and I'm afraid... He likes you. That Things have changed oh, yeah, <laughs> more than I realized. That's why I'm defaulting. And I shouldn't be doing that. I'm sorry. I actually really like that speech staff mode did too. That was deliberate. <clears throat> I realize that you are experiencing things for the first time. You know what? This is this is actually, I know I said before about the monologue audition thing. This one actually would give you like a good length and actually some good a good chance of getting getting cast in something or like, you know. Yeah. But why not? All my life, I've known you. I've known you as Aaron. Yes. Not Aaron the human. Not Aaron the werewolf. With Aaron the the werewolf and Aaron the human, <laughs> never ends. It's my street time. <laughs> not How many minutes Aaron are left in this episode? Just. I don't know. It doesn't say on restream. Great. Aaron. And I'm. We are getting towards the end, though. The whole Good, house because my mom is knocking on the talk. floor. My mom is knocking on the roof of the living room right now for me to come down for dinner. I'm like, no, no, mom, I, not yet. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot that. Leave me alone, mom. I'm watching F now. <laughs> I probably won't ever understand what you're going through, but I want to make myself open for you. With that, Aaron, I can understand if you say no to this, but I resort with you. I'm going to Mortar alone, Sam. I know you are, but I'm coming with you. <laughs> I don't want to time. I'm alone, but... Uh, one, I... I really... I, I needed to hear that from me. You have no idea they have to accept what's going on. You know, guys, there are only so many Levi Drink moments I can actually add in an episode. Like, come on. I'm saving it up. Like, the whole speech let's just get. Let's just You're get saving yourself for the moment at the end of the episode. You, you haven't said anything in a long while. I know. You haven't said anything in a long time. I'm saving myself, but it's so tempting. Ah. Right, let's just get but through this. I needed that. And two, I would never say no to you coming with me. I just wanted to make sure that you were joining me for the right reasons. But you did nothing to ensure that. In fact, you left without barely telling her what was going on. And after yeah. what you said, I know that you have good intent. This is an experience for me, and I'm not going to be able to guide you the right way. But it's an experience that I want to share with you. Go on, say it, say it, go on, go on. But I can let you know what makes me comfortable and uncomfortable. Okay, that's fine. Be here. Alright. Um, oh. 
Um, I think she's 33. People say to me that people in their 30s have a chance of experiencing a midlife crisis. I don't imagine this is a crisis will be over about love life. So she could take what she said to her dad. I mean, I know, I think, I think 30 is like, 30s is like, boy, 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 time for a midlife crisis. Um, cause, cause midlife is usually sometime around like, you know, 40s, 50s or so. But yeah, possibly. It's an interesting arc. I think Aaron himself actually is, um, is in his early 30s. I, I think Melissa would be would be nearing 40, actually. All right, let's just get through this quickly, like the rest of this, so I can actually go have dinner, <laughs> please. Okay, fine. All right, I'm trying to remember. I think, uh, yeah, I think Aaron is 31. Maybe Melissa's there. So I think Melissa's like a bit older, teenager, like an adult, or going to have a fucking time as a kid. And, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. and work with you. <laughs> let's go. Uh, oh, but my bad. I couldn't find it, and... Katara, they're gonna keep yelling at you coming with me. There's so many of these things. <laughs> he had it already. Yeah. There's where it went. <laughs> Again, I really wanted you by my side. Question, what would he have done if Aphra hadn't showed up here? Would he just like take in her stuff and like... <laughs> <laughs> you creep. <laughs> it's been like, he left the bag on the dock or he takes it with him on the boat. Either way, that's a terrible yes, plan. Yes, sir, call me like, hey, I'm kind of hoping be... you would join me, but you didn't join me, so I may or may not have your stuff with me. Just, just FYI. <laughs> okay, what? let's just get this over with. <laughs> get this over with, please! I have said this before so many times, but why is everyone so bad at planning things in this season in particular? And the last one, but mostly this one. Maybe they just pulled you know the what? lazy act on this one. W William, we need to make um, like um, a bad plan song. Um, yeah. Bad um, planning, bad planning, bad it'll bad. get what you, you nowhere. You bad planning, awful, bad planning. Awful. Maybe plan things better next oh. time. <laughs> <laughs> bad planning. Made it with one oh, that's not that. Bad planning, bad planning, bad planning. Uh, better plan things better next time. Yeah. There's, there's, like a, there's like another thing before it, actually, but yes. I'm glad you realize these things on your own. Okay, there we go. Got it. That's the jingle. Yeah, I think we're not done yet. I think we're still with this subplot. Yeah, we have to get the actual moment I've been saving. Here we are at the haunted house. <laughs> Where did your spunk go, Melissa? My plans. <laughs> All gone. To be fair, Melissa, you're the only person who actually had a good plan in this whole series so far. This whole season, I mean. But I am a good big sister, so... Man, well, this place is super cool. Yes. Let's not waste this night. Ready to be spooked? Oh, yes we are! Right, Zane? No! No, 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 I think Zane is still ready. Zane is good enough. Let's go! And Melissa just doesn't care anymore. Okay, sure. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I love seeing characters' feet walk past. I know Dan Schneider That's lazy. this scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Or Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> An actual hey, hey! Oh. She's this way, Zane! Was... Oh, she was Where that was... are you Quite... going? Quite chat is the right idea. <laughs> Where are we going? Away from her! Here! Wait, Quite chan do you mean away from per? <laughs> I bet you're free with you say. No, away from per. That it was a pun. It was like away, away, get away, getting away from her. Zane, there. where are you? Oh, Ghost, you and I seriously need to have a conversation. What? Let's go. <gasps> it's happening. 
It's happening! Get Thanks. ready for the exact Come moment, on, Jacob. Zane, did, did you want me to ship you with someone? Got it. Huh? No. Where is that coming from? It's just... If I had the chance to ship you with someone, I'd like to ship you... with me. This is the quirkiest confession of all time. Like, this is the most <laughs> polite way right to confess ever. <laughs> Very true. They should have done this with Reese. <laughs> Why, Chan? Are you... Zane, I like you yeah. a lot. You listen to me, oh. and you... you... And... Okay! Yes! Done! Okay, I gotta go. Bye, Zane. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye, William. <laughs> bye. Gotta go. Gotta go have dinner now. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> so that was the episode. That was quite an episode. Oh, you're still here. You died, yeah, not we died, died not you died. <laughs> Have you been absorbing like you've been like one of the things as before? Yeah. And don't worry, yeah, I've uh, been absorbing. Place. Don't worry, pretty plays. We will get to um. We will get to Ziana's reaction in due time. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, we love Ziana in this house. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Second best parent in the whole series. Uh. Okie dokie. So, thoughts on the episode? Uh, it was good. Besides some vaguely pro problematic stuff, you know that that stuff was vaguely. good. Vaguely. <laughs> vaguely. Okay, vaguely. not vaguely, but at least. Besides, yeah, besides like... the questionable stuff when you make an allegory, besides that stuff. Yeah, it there's, was like, good. there's like there's like vague problematic, and then there's beep 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 abort abort. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My my social awareness alarms were going off like for half the episode. I was like. Uh, what am I looking at? Help? I, I will say, if any social awareness alarm is going off, that's when you know you're messed up. <laughs> yes, anyway, what were your thoughts? Uh, whose thoughts? My thoughts? Or the yeah, thoughts? You're the butter man. Oh, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do like a wrap up like I normally do. I think what you gonna say first. Alright, uh, well, I'm done. Give my thoughts. Okay. All right then. I thought none of us have talked about the ship that just happened right now. Oh no, it was good, but yeah, I don't know what to say about it. It was good. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Hold on, we got a question. We got a question. Do you guys think the Zane chance the result of the fandom shipping or plan from earlier time at this at the point? This oh point no, is? fandom shipping is is where it is. Like seriously, season one. Zane Chan from My Street Season 1 was non-existent. Like, like the closest thing we got to a quote-unquote Zane Chan moment was that one time Zane bought ponies off Kawaii Chan during that mole episode during Season 1. That yeah, was I only, wouldn't. I yeah, wouldn't. that was the very closest thing in Season 1 to we got to Zane Chan shipping. Then there was season Phoenix Drop High, which the closest thing we got to shipping in that season was the whole Athma trying to get Zane a girlfriend or or like crush thing, you know. Oh no, no, yeah. we got some more. We got some more at that point because Kawaii Chan at that point was taking more of an interest in Zane and trying to involve him in a bunch of group activities. I think that might be where the contrast between their personalities actually started. You know. Yeah, and I think, I think I think I think Athma really started to ramp up the shipping in season two, and that's when the actual shipping began. Yeah, I do remember there was um there was actually a line. Um, in season two, like after Kawaii Chan is a thing, where where she actually where she goes, she turns to Kawaii Chan and goes, "Hmm, I just realized you like cute things." And uh, yeah. of course, the implication, of course, saying that to Zane was pretty, pretty cute, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> pretty much. Um, yeah, definitely. So I definitely think it was fandom. Out. It was definitely fandom. I don't know. I think it was. Opinion. 
I don't know. It, it might have been fandom inspired, but I know that I know that Appa always said that it was rushed and forced at some point. I don't think it was rushed and forced. Oh yeah, no, I don't think Zane Fan was rushed and forced. I mean, the only season, like the only two seasons we got no Zane Fan shipping was season one, uh, season one, and, and season four. four, which Kawhi Chan wasn't a part of season four, which honestly. Sense. I feel like Saint Chan is one of the more natural ships in this show. Like, I feel like it progresses at a semi-even pace, you know, all, all till like, it doesn't, it, it's not too hard too fast, if that makes sense. Huh? It's better pace oh, than yeah. traveling. It's also not excruciatingly slow, like traveling in Armal are. Well, Armal wasn't that slow, but it was slow in the timeline. In the timeline. Yes, that's what, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. You know, I mean, a whole 10 years, that's uh, that's some dedication right there. <laughs> Again, that, that's part of their strength, but also, if we'd seen the show in Chronological Order, people have been screaming at that for years. We still, if we'd seen, if it's like the series that's actually given us the exact time frame that I've an hour waiting, we'd still be waiting right now. We, we'd have another three years before they get together. So, yeah. Yeah, and also, <laughs> as far as Zane fan foreshadowing and build up, I don't really count FC University since that kind of was aired after Zane fan was a thing. So it was just retroactive foreshadowing that AFMA loves to do, despite the characters not showing any interest in each other at all during during yeah. season one of my street which makes no sense you know so i mean yeah also but you know also in, if you if you count the remake of episode one of the canon version zane does say in there he doesn't he doesn't want to remember kawaii chan i don't think I want yeah no and kawaii chan suddenly remembered him and was like oh yeah you're the one who sucks even though in fc university in, in fc university keep in mind kawaii chan was like oh who are you and then Zane was like, oh, it must have not made an impact on you. And then when it comes to the remake, she's like, oh, I remember you. You're the guy who did all that horrible stuff. So make up your mind, Aph Mao. Did Does Kwai Chan know? Know him or not? Writers, make up your mind. <laughs> red cons, red cons, they're bad for me and you. Red cons, red cons, next time think your story through. I don't know if seriously it's oh, so like weird. a continuity advisor or something like that. Like just someone to read over the scripts and be like, okay, that's a continuity error. That's this a is continuity. why that was my dream. That was like my dream job for a bit. Like I had like actual like fantasies of being like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go off into California and I'm gonna work for Blue Jay Studios. That's what the name was at the time. And I'm gonna be yeah, after. I like Blue Jay advice. Studios more than Catface. Catface it just sounds stupid. I think that's. I think it's meant to sound kind of goofy. If that's the idea, really. It's stupid, though. Anyways, all right. <laughs> I don't really have a preference. It just. I guess Blue Jay was more fun to say at the time. I got more used to it. So when it when the eventually changed, I was like, oh, I need to. I need to like <laughs> readjust my brain to say cat face when I'm talking about this stuff. I don't yeah. know. Uh, yeah. So um. Okay, but yes, I, don't, I do think that Zane Chan had a, had a program to build up. It was a combination of possibly fat of the fandom noticing there might be something there, and then the creators actually exploring it. Well, yeah, that that is... not done so far with any ship people recommended to me. People keep recommending ships to me, and much like I said before about can't force a ship on somebody. Sometimes, I guess, as the creator, that would um that would uh, backfire with Mutant Girl stuff. Because people are like, oh, Kylie and Terry should date, or Rainer and Julius, or somebody and somebody. Like, what? Cat. I mean, yeah. Rainer and Julius could work hypothetically. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is what I mean. <laughs> it's not, it's just, no, like, they been, could. Yeah. Act, in all seriousness, yeah. they could actually work if you did it. Yes. Okay. They could work. It's just not gonna happen. Yeah. So could, it's not. It's not. It's not like shipping. I don't know. Felix and Reina. It's not like a ship that would never work. In oh, the yeah. Gross. Which actually, I have heard someone do that. Yeah, it's not like a gross ship. Like even T Kylie and Terry could hypothetically work, but no. Yeah, we know where like, we know where they're going, but no, not not. Them. Well, yeah, I know. It's like, it's like every time I introduce, they're just like two best friends of opposite genders. It's like they must date. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's because like even with characters of the same gender, like I mean, even with just them interacting, they since best friends tend to spend so much time together, people end up shipping them regardless because you know when characters spend a lot of time together, 
tend to be like, oh, what these characters were a thing, you know? Because I don't think it's necessarily a gender thing. Like, because, like, I even, like, you know, I just think, I because I think even if, like, Reyna was a guy, for example, people would still end up shipping them eventually. Because, you know. If Reyna was, was, was a guy, then it would be Ray. <laughs> well, I think Reyna would be as a guy named Ray. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that's literally what the translation yeah, like, are. And then Julius would be Julia if, if Julius was a girl. Well, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, that, that, one, that one we know. Honestly, I think I think Glenn and Mark would, would just swap the names. Because <laughs> they are very close. De Morwena a Morweno. <laughs> Morweno. No, no, we would do it. It would be from Morgan to Morgan. That's the, uh, I see, yeah, you wouldn't even know. Oh, okay. So, I don't know. It's, it's like, yeah, it's the whole thing. Actually, now I realize something. Actually, no, wait, Marwick's name wouldn't Morgan. change. No, Marwick's Marwick, name wouldn't change. Because Marwick, Marwick yeah, is a nickname, and his first name is Morgan. Therefore, Morgan is a gender-neutral name. Therefore, it wouldn't need to change. Yeah, I know, I know his, you know, well, okay. But also, you know, what more weather become then if not more have to change it over so they don't call the same thing. That would be my point. True. And yeah, I have I actually used to know someone in the US um who actually was called Morgan and she's a girl. I know I've known two female Morgans at the time. Anyway, let's actually go into what we people have been waiting for. Like my actual again, I didn't mention my thoughts on the episode yet. We've just been blabbing on about the music girl for a bit. Um and about Saint Chan. So, yeah, I, you know what, I'll start with the Zane Chan stuff, because why not? Um, and that stuff, like, what's really stands out about this is that, is that the, um, is that the fandom itself, again, I remember reading some comments and looking at the hints that could have been there, and all the time that Zane and White Chan were spending right close to each other, sort of definitely leaning in that exact direction, just the way they went back around each other, even if you didn't read the comments. It's a great payoff to what everyone was everyone sort of knew was coming and also what everyone kind of wanted was it rushed and forced i wouldn't say so again the relationship itself the way as well they deal with that later got that covered so in that, in that aspect i feel like it was handled it was handled pretty much pretty much flawlessly in the way that i think that it, it could have gone maybe without the the other surprise of ghost being a thing actually I mean, that's one more. That's one they've done before this point. Have have a bit more time, maybe, with Kawaii Chan and Ghost becoming something rivals. I know that Kawaii Chan was in hiding until last episode, pretty much. So that's not entirely possible. But something to um something to establish that there is some sort of rivalry beyond just oh, you know, the first girl that appears that seems to dote on Zane apart from apart from myself. I must kiss him now. Even though he clearly is not interested in this woman at all, <laughs> I mean, now that I say that, that's my that's my one issue with the way this episode handles the, the, the you know the stuff, and also the whole house thing was weird, but not overall disappointing. I mean, that would make for a great story, you know, to tell the grandkids, <laughs> you know, just the the litter of meat well that would have emerged from this coupling. <laughs> so. Uh, so yeah, I like that aspect. As for the whole werewolf stuff, again, um, that, that that deserved like some sort of like other focus that wasn't just smushed in between Kawaii Chan's, um, you know, some of Kawaii Chan's most memorable moments in the series, and that take the focus in the marketing and the thumbnails and everything. Because uh, huh, that's uh, that's uh, that was a decision that was made. I guess it does. I guess it kind of had to happen that way in order for Aaron and Aaron and Aphmau to leave the island together at the same time as the haunted house. Although, granted, they could have had the haunted house thing separately and just had an Aphmau and Aaron moment when they, you know, but when when they go there and I don't know Melissa's bugging them and meanwhile nothing happens because of that. Actually, yeah, they tell Melissa off to like back off and nothing's gonna happen in the haunted house. Cut to Zane and Kawaii Chan, you know, smoochy smoochy. That would have been a great contrast. Um, the, but yeah, depends. Like that's, you know, that's just alternative setups. So yeah, I think, I think it would have benefited a bit more from having some sort of degree of 
separation from each other because like ugh. ah well that would of course actually bring one of, one of my actual favorite episodes of all time episode 17 the way that plays out but again that's that can be um that can be dealt with again i guess in episode 16 with the aftermath of both those things i don't know something like that i'm getting off track um also speaking of the marketing actually i'll talk about the thumbnail for a bit. i don't normally do that in these episodes but the thumbnail for this particular episode um actually um involves you know what i can actually just oh i know i don't have to be my time because it's loading very slowly the thumbnail for this episode just shows in kawaii jan kissing so yeah everyone already knew what to happen by the time um but again i say this was not necessarily a surprise to people it was the payoff that they were all anticipate so in a sense we all knew it was going to happen regardless of whether it actually appeared in the episode or not it wasn't like the uh the other major shipping kiss that uh was completely was somewhat completely unexpected and uh was just a huge amazing payoff that i couldn't react to probably at the time because i was recording late at night but it doesn't matter i'm not salty so um so i don't mind that again I guess if you know what you expect, minus the werewolf stuff, because that just comes out of nowhere in the middle of the series. Um, if you know what to expect there, you know to click on the things, it works for marketing, and it doesn't affect the story. So, you know what? It's, uh, it's, 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 not, it's not a perfect structure whatsoever, but it's pretty good. It's pretty up there. It's definitely up there. Like I said, it leads to one of the best arcs in this in the series, I think, and up then sets up one of my favorite episodes of all time, episode seventeen of this ser- of this season. But we'll get to that when we get to that, because of course, first of all, we have to determine when episode sixteen is, which shall be. Oh, my phone loads. There's a prosy D bit of him blind red or something, I just got recommended. Uh anyway. Let's see. Oh my goodness, I just realized like the order of these of these episodes of when Ahmad goes off the deep is like the literal day after she gives like amazing advice. Anyway. Um Oh. Actually, hold on, I got that wrong. It's episode sixteen is one of my favorites of the series, I think. Um Let me just through yep it's episode 16 my favorite episodes and then episode 17 is the one where uh the stuff happens so let's get to the good stuff first and that good stuff is in the episode what do i do which will be on july the 23rd same time same place nice. five five years, years later. later until then please leave a like or dislike because your opinion matters and if you're watching us on twitch Follow us on already and watch us on YouTube. Subscribe to us already. Uh, and also subscribe to In the Best and, I don't know, Spartan Games. Don't like subscribe game, to me. It's not worth it. No videos. <laughs> well, wait, are we going to start a campaign like subscribe to Ghosty? Subscribe to Oh, Spartan. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, hashtag sub to Ghosty was a great thing. Yeah. But yeah, we can do that. Hashtag sub to Spartan. A channel that's never going to make it because he forgot his password. Oh well. I tell you what, if you don't want to do any gaming videos to do with a Spartan gaming or something, then let me know because I can definitely I can definitely be, be a co host if you want someone to dance up, jams up, jams up or something. I definitely appreciate that and we'll keep it in mind. Alright then. Alright then. So bye to Freddy Plays and bye to everyone else. On that note, yes. until next time. Farewell.